The pain was so great that sometimes I wanted to take my life. But then you just get loaded again and keep trenching and keep moving forward, you know? And the despair, the loneliness that you feel when you're deep in addiction, whether it's heroin, whether it's methamphetamine, whether alcohol is driving your life, that despair and hopelessness that you feel, it's hard to reach out. It's hard to come up for air. It's hard to see a solution. It's really difficult at times. And, uh, but we have to remember that's its job. That's what it's, that's its job. And, uh, and it was beating me down pretty good for a long time. My mom tried to do everything she could, and, uh, but uh, um, unfortunately, um, it wasn't enough. You know, there's, uh, I guess I had, to, I had to hit a bottom, and my bottom wasn't there yet. It's unfortunate what we have to go through fighting addiction and being stuck in that web and trying to get out, how many lumps we have to take, you know. Um, I would wish that our bottoms would, would raise way up here, you know, you make a few mistakes, you, you, you recognize and you, and you move forward where, you know, a guy like me had to take a few extra ones, I guess. My mom was my rock for a lot of, a lot of years, you know. Um, she, uh, you know, I remember, I, I still, today, um, I picture her on the edge of the mat, just screaming and yelling, you know. Your biggest of, cheerleader. Huh? Your my biggest, biggest fan, you know, biggest cheerleader. Hundreds of fans, everybody's rocking and yelling, and my mom's above all the loudest one and yelling and screaming. And, and I still think about it, you know, I still think about it. I still picture her. And when, when you're caught up in addiction, it's hard to reach people. It's hard to reach them. They've got to come up for air. But you get that one window of hope, that one moment that they're feeling like they want to make change. You want to be there for them. You want to be there for them. You want to be ready for that moment because it's going to be difficult to crack through. Um, if I don't want to get help and I don't want to change my life or I'm not recognizing the problem, it's going to be difficult to find, find a solution and get the help you need. But as soon as they come up for air, be there to grab them and help them. Be right there, you know. That's when you grab them. Teach them what's going on. Teach them why not to take these drugs. You know, so they can teach see them. it firsthand. Exactly. You know, sit down and read it with them. Watch the videos. Watch the stuff with them and talk about it. You know, it's it's about the connecting with your kids and um, and and educate yourself. You know, why don't we do it? Well, you know what? This is why, son or daughter, because this is why we have 175 people a day that are dying heroin overdose. Get on there and get it on the computer and say this is why.